The Republican Party is definitely not happy with Donald Trump. The, yes. All the rednecks uh, 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 are thrilled with him. The haters are thrilled with him, but not the party. <laughs> His political rise has set the party's establishment on edge. Trump draws large and enthusiastic crowds to the rallies and repeatedly says things viewed by some women, racial and religious minorities, and disabled people as offensive. Well, many people are valid in, in their feelings and, and, and many people are thin-skinned, you know? He also has developed a pattern of repeating falsehoods in speeches and interviews. In other words, he's full of shit often. <laughs> among in, them... In layman's terms. <laughs> among them are, there are 100 million unemployed workers in the United States. Well, he's, he's only off by 7 million. It's not that bad. Yeah. He's not bad. No, it's not bad. And President Obama plans to allow... Hold on, hold on, brother. All right, go ahead. 250,000 Syrian refugees to resettle in the country. <clears throat> Trump outlined the concept of truthful hyperbole in the art of the deal, calling it an innocent form of exaggeration. And uh, very effective for promotion. Hey, uh, the art of the deal. Yeah, that's what I'm famous for. The deal. Let's make a deal. Monty, let's Come make Come on a down! Deal. No, that's The Price is Right. Oh, that's Bob Barker. Monty Hall. Is he still alive? Yeah, but once they get old, they kick them out from the master's ceremonies. You know, isn't, it, isn't it something how no talk show host ever has that many old legends on like like uh, even when they're even though they're not promoting a, a new book or a movie just have them on because people love them so much that's and why I think people like uh, Hollywood Squares they got to see them yeah they had all those uh, you know you know like uh, uh, I did see um, um, oh what's it yeah. Shirley Jones uh, from the Partridge family, but she was, she wrote a book or something. You know, she was promoting, she looked great. Uh, you know, uh, once in a big while, you, you might see Florence Henderson, but but I mean, you know, uh, uh, Don Rickles was on. Uh, uh, not, not that he was promoting anything, but because he's Don Rickles. Just have him on. People love to see them again. Yeah, well, the television goes by advertising, and I think the advertising is something like from 18 to 34, or something like that. That's who they want to appeal to. Oh, uh, you know what that's like? That's like when, when uh, Independent Circuit Pro Wrestling books a an old legend, an older legend, to sign autographs, and the kids don't know who this guy is. <laughs> we know who? No, like Greg, ooh, Val ooh. Greg Valentine, I, I felt bad for him. He's sitting at the table, you know, and Tony Atlas is at the other table. And, like, you know, like, nobody, just a few people went up there. The old, the, the parents, the older folks know them, yeah. but the younger generation doesn't know them. And they're legends in the business. Mm -hmm. I, I, that goes in line with what you were saying. Anyway. I, and another thing that I always say. There's always someone stronger coming around. To replace coming you. Along to replace you. To replace your ass. Yeah. So don't don't um, uh, rest on your laurels and get, get too cocky if you happen to be a star or celebrity because yeah. Enjoy uh, your moment. Because you can be uh, uh, you can be part of the past very quickly. <laughs> People want to believe that something is the biggest and the greatest 
and the most spectacular, he wrote. Asked whether he would take the same approach as president, Trump suggested he would, but would recast it as less about stretching the truth and more about putting a positive spin on the circumstances. I want to be truthful, but I want to be optimistic. Trump said that as president, he would aim to tell the truth in speeches such as the State of the Union. He believes that being optimistic is just as important a goal. I think the best word would be I would want to be optimistic. I am very optimistic about our country. I think if we get the right leadership, which will be me, it's the way I feel I'll do the best job. <laughs> but I think if we get the right leadership, I think we have tremendous potential. And I would be very, very optimistic about the country and I would be that way in the State of the Union address. Polls and interviews with Trump supporters suggest that many of his backers have not voted in previous presidential elections. That gives Trump an opportunity to expand the electorate. It also poses significant challenges in terms of registering those new voters and ensuring that they show up. Trump said in the interview that his campaign has built an aggressive operation to take on those tasks, though he provided no details. Speaking at a rally in Specter, Iowa, Trump pressed the importance of caucusing. You gotta get to the caucus. You got to get there. Even if you're not feeling good, if you're feeling horrible, if you had a horrible fight with your wife, if you caught your husband cheating the night before, you got to go to the caucus. Go to the caucus, damn it, already. I love Donald Trump's uh, 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 attempt at trying to be humble. Yeah, right. <laughs> Get to the caucus. The caucus is where it counts, man. Hold on. The caucus. King Nutcracker. The caucus is where it's at, man. You gotta get to the fucking caucus. The primaries is the caucus. The caucus. 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 Da 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 da. Pull that lever, man. Oh, they can't see the lever. This is really the king of the nutcrackers talking. Oh. Oh. Anyway. That's it. That wraps it. Oh, that's a wrap. For this uh, special holiday show. You people, you jabronis, have a safe and enjoyable holiday season and do not drive drunk because remember or buzz remember that commercial that new commercial buzz uh, driving, driving is, drunk driving. is drunk driving buzz driving is drunk driving yes so do it safely you know be safe not sorry like condom commercial right <laughs> Oh gosh, and remember, Christ was never in Christmas. Yeah. Happy Yule, summer solstice Yule. Happy Festivus and hail Krampus. And hail unions, American unions. And feel the burn, go Bernie Sanders. And tonight is a new Democratic Debate on a Saturday. Eight o'clock, Channel Seven. ABC. Oh, really? WABC. Correct. WABC, Channel Seven here in the New York metropolitan area, but not, of course, in your area. You know, but it's WABC. Uh, should be very interesting 
to see how it goes right after the, uh, the DNC uh, Democratic uh, bullshit, you know, from yeah, maybe, uh, maybe they'll make it more understandable from Deborah. What exactly happened? Wasserman uh, shits. Schultz. Shits. Schultz. I should not can. Schultz. The drooler. She's always, her mouth is always hanging open in every photo and she looks like she's salivating. She probably smells the money coming her way. She's like, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, Deborah Wasserman shits. Watch that debate and be safe. All right, bye bye. Yeah. And then we'll see you for the um, the pre uh, New Year's Eve show, God willing. Um, I say this every year, but what the hell does "old Lang Syne" mean? I don't know. I always wondered that what that meant. "Old Lang Syne." Anyway, we'll see you.